Hi there, it's Friday the 8th of May 2020 and this is the last day looking at some of the different types of prayer in the Bible as prayed by Nehemiah in the book after his own name. And there are different types of prayer just as there are different tools for different jobs, different purposes and it's useful to understand what they are. On Monday we're looking at the prayer of intercession which is when we pray in behalf of other people. On Tuesday it was the prayer of assistance where we ask God for help often in difficult situations. On Wednesday it was the prayer of justice when we ask God to intervene and show his justice against those who are causing injustice in the world. And yesterday the prayer of protection as we ask God to protect us and our family and to give us the strength to protect ourselves. And today it's the prayer of favour, the prayer of favour. What does favour mean? Well, favour is approval or support or liking for someone or something. Approval, support or liking for someone or something. Have you ever had favour in your life? I hope you have. Um, sometimes there are people who seem to like us and support us and uh, they show favour towards us. And it's a really nice thing to have that favour in life. Quite recently, um, a friend of mine, his son, showed me some favour by uh, contacting me on behalf of a friend of his who was at university and he was putting on um, an event. Um, it was on behalf of Greenpeace and they were looking for some artwork. And uh, my friend's son uh, knew that I had put together some different pieces of art using um, materials which had been discarded or disposed of or taken out of the bin. And so he thought it was quite interesting if I could put some of my art to the Greenpeace event because it was all around the theme of sustainability. So he showed me great favour by contacting me and of course unfortunately the event was cancelled due to the lockdown um, but hopefully it might reappear at some point in the future. So having favour is a real blessing in our life and Nehemiah, he was praying for favour from God. Favour from God and he did this actually on a few occasions. Chapter 5 verse 19 he says... Remember me with favour, O oh my God, for all I have done for these people. As Nehemiah led the people in rebuilding the walls of his home city, Jerusalem, at the end of that he asked God for favour. Remember me with favour, O oh my God, for all I have done for these people. And then right at the end of his life, again as he looked back, over his life and some of the things that he had done, he said, Remember me for this, O my God, and do not blot out what I have so faithfully done for the house of my God and its services. Remember me for this also, O my God, and show great mercy to me according to your great love. And then the very last words of the book of Nehemiah are these, Remember me with favour, O my God. As Nehemiah looked back over his life and all that he had struggled to achieve and do for God, all the ups and downs of his life, those things that he had been successful in, those things he had failed in, just like all of us have life of good and bad, of up and down, success and failure. At the end of his life he looked back and his prayer was, remember me with favour, oh my God. Question, is it right for us to ask God for favour? Was Nehemiah not being a little bit selfish in praying for that? And maybe a bit proud or, or arrogant possibly? Well, no, he wasn't. He was simply asking God to remember him when it seemed like others perhaps had forgotten him or overlooked him. And Nehemiah knew that God was a God of love, that he was a God of justice, and that he would be right and just in the way that God looked at Nehemiah and how God remembered him and so he just prayed that very simple prayer God would you remember me would you remember me with favour would you be kind to me Lord I know you're a God of kindness would you be kind to me would you forgive my sins and overlook those things that I have done wrong and remember those things where I have done well remember those things remember me with favour with kindness with mercy and we can ask God for that the psalmist, he said something similar 
in Psalm 5 verse 12. For you bless the righteous, O Lord, you cover him with favour like a shield. When we have God's support, when we have his favour, his approval, his liking, then it's like a shield around about us. It protects us from those who would run us down, who would oppose us, who would marginalise us or exclude us. It's so good to have a God who is so kind and he will remember us with favour. We can pray all these wonderful prayers and God hears our prayers and answers our prayers according to his will. Isn't it wonderful to be able to pray to God during this time? Prayers of intercession, of assistance, of justice, of protection and of favour. God bless you in your prayers. Speak to you again soon.